Hi, welcome to automation testing that in please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to get the notifications. In this video, we will see slider automation in Selenium WebDriver method one. We have two ways to automate the slider. So in this video, we will see method one. For this, we will go to one of the demo websites called demo.automationtesting.in slash slider.html. Here you can find this kind of slider. So I can drag this. So by using Selenium, how you can drag this. Then first we need to inspect that whether we are able to find this element, this slider or not. For this, I will right click. Okay, I am able to find this element. You see this anchor tag is highlighting this white color slider. You see that it become blue color. So I am able to drag this one, but where to drop? Right. So th this is not exact drag and drop. Means sometimes drag and drop means one element will be there, another element will be there. From there to here, you will drag. Means you will have a source and destination for both web elements. But here I have source. This is the source I need to drag. But where to drop? I don't know destination. For this, we will depends on coordinates of the web page. Means by taking some x y coordinates of any location on this slider and will move to that. Okay. Then how you can find the coordinates on this? So for this, we can use some of the extensions in Chrome. One of the extensions is you can see here. This is page ruler. This is page ruler. You just add it. I added. I'll just click on this. You see that in the top you find width, height, left, top, right, bottom, some color, all these things. So what I can do now from here to here, I need to find the x coordinates and y coordinates. I simply drag from here from end to this one. This is x coordinate. See from the bottom to top y coordinate from the left to this right x coordinate. So the top is 299 means this is y coordinate and the right is 500. This is x coordinate. So I'll take 299 and 500. So now Let's move to the IntelliJ and we'll start writing the code. This is my IntelliJ. I'll create a new Java class. I'll say slider automation method one. Okay. Now I'll copy some code from my previous program till here. Now what I can do, I'll use Firefox browser as this slider is not working in Chrome properly as this is a dummy website right. So I'm using the Firefox driver as it is working fine in the Firefox browser and then I need to take this URL till here very common. I'm opening the browser and navigating to this URL. Now first I need to find this element. What is that web element slider is equals to driver dot find element by dot CSS selector. Now I know the CSS selector of that. So I know the element right till here fine means my source. I found my source, but where is the destination? So to drag and drop, we need to use actions class in selenium so actions actions is equal to new actions of you need to pass the driver instance to this actions so what are my coordinates i said 303 539 some random 303 comma 539 okay now what i'll do you need to use this actions class actions dot you have one of the methods called you see that drag and drop source and target if you know the source and target we can directly use this one but i do not know the target so drag and drop by and it will accept source you see that the source is this slider then i need x offset y offset means the coordinates so i'll use this method what is this this is a slider comma so what are the x and y coordinates 303 comma 530 
okay then if you use actions class then you need to just build that perform to perform that action okay that's it i'll remove this now this is the method drag and drop by web element and x coordinate y coordinate dot build dot perform okay now we'll try to execute this and see whether it is working fine or not you see that it is not dragging but you observe the behavior when i bring my mouse into this firefox browser you see that it is floating means it clicked on that but it is not performing the drag and drop so how you can handle the situation see when i go somewhere and if i say click so it will stop there actually build dot perform should perform all these things but as this is a dummy website it is not working properly so even though i want to make it work frankly speaking in the normal websites it's actual websites this line is enough this line is enough this will do drag and drop but unfortunately in this website it is not working properly so i'll do one more trick means work around so i'll click on this this is the drag and drop right i'll click on the slider then it should work okay i'll do that what i do slider dot click now we'll try to so we'll execute once again still it is not performing i made a mistake here that this is not build dot perform this is release dot perform okay i made a mistake but it's good right we know we should use release instead of build i'll execute again once again it is not performing this action the reason is we need to perform release dot build dot perform i made this mistakes intentionally to know how it should work how you make it work that's it i made this mistakes intentionally so we'll execute once again that is release dot build dot perform the reason is sometimes people will say build dot perform some sometimes they'll say release dot perform so we don't know according to the website it will work so i made per permutations and combinations so i'm making it work i think it should work now perfectly still it is not working now we'll see what is the issue right i made one more mistake you see that top 3 not 3 means this is y and this is x i gave in reverse order okay first it should be 539 then 303 so we'll execute once again you see that it successfully dragged from here to here okay this way you can handle the slider in this video means in this example i made so many mistakes intentionally first i took wrong coordinates means instead of y i took x instead of x i took y and then first i used build dot for perform only then i made it release dot perform and then release dot build dot perform and then i changed the x y coordinates properly so these are possible mistakes we we may do while automating slider so people will do some mistakes and they'll say i tried this but it is not working something like that so you need to make it work and you need to understand the concept perfectly that's it in this video thank you for watching this video please like us on facebook page and please subscribe to youtube channel for further updates and please like the video and share the video